and that's and I I swear I've walked away from so many disagreements, so many things that could have went left in my life. Even when I was in the military, I was like, you know, I don't want to get no bar. I I got hit over the head. Okay, I'll give you a couple fight stories real quick since we're on this. I got hit over the head with a beer bottle when I was in the Navy. There's in DC. There was a military bar called the Crazy Horse, and that's where all the Marine and Ar- uh, Marine Army Navy guys went because it was 18 and over, so we can get in. I'm 18, 19 years old, can't drink, but I'm drinking. We we went there because we could drink. You got a uh, you got a military ID. You just find somebody that's 21. You, you used to give it to them. We all looked alike. We all had like the the high top fade, and everybody's young. So, shoot, I got into one bar in, in uh, uh, Anniston, Alabama, with a black guy, black guy ID. I was like, there you go. I remember they looked at it like, Jamal Tingley? Yeah. <laughs> Got in. So anyways, uh, I was in I was in D.C., this bar called The Crazy Horse. Big bar fight breaks out. And like I said, I'm not in it. I'm not doing nothing. I'm kind of not even facing the fight at this point. I'm facing the other way. And I heard a dunk. And I was like, the hell was that? And then I went like this. And when I when I pulled my hand away, my hand was red. And I went, what the f- And then the blood just started gushing. It it looked like I got fucked up. And I'm going, what the hell? So I run the bathroom. This is when them bars just had paper towels. So I'm wetting paper towels trying to get it. But now the blood's over my shirt. My boy's freaking out. They think they think I got my ass whooped. And I go to we go to, we go to the base, we go to the, the military hospital. They stitch me up. I still got the scars right here. Four stitches, maybe, something like that. I still don't know what really happened. Uh, the next day, one of the guys came to my barracks. He goes, you all right? And I said, yeah. He goes, man, that was crazy last night. I said, what happened? I still didn't know. He said, the fight was going on, and somebody took a beer bottle and came across, and they go, I didn't think they meant to hit you, Gary. You just were sitting there, and they hit you. And they go, I don't think the bottle broke, though, because I guess they hit me with the base, and it just Donk, hit me clean. And uh they said the guy they said the funny part was you get hit overhead with a beer bottle, and since I didn't see it coming, I didn't know what happened, I didn't react, and I didn't get knocked out, so I just kind of went. And then the blood came. And so uh my buddy goes, dude, the guy that hit you though, yo, he just disappeared back into the crowd. And then I ran it back in my head, I go, wait a minute, if I got a beer bottle. And I hit a guy on the head, and he doesn't do shit. Yeah, I'm getting away from that dude. <laughs> like, what, first of all, what kind of drugs is he on? Or this is best motherfucker in D.C. So there's still a guy out there probably telling the story. Man, one time I was in a bar fight in the crazy horse, and I hit this guy with a beer bottle. He didn't do shit. He didn't budge. <laughs> that blood, it it looked like I got shot 16 times in the head. There was so much blood because I guess it's like it got me on my hairline. I guess that's a sensitive area where the blood comes out. At least that's what the doctor told me. And then, but to this day, I was like, I wonder who that guy was. They were, I, and, you know, being a stand-up, I meet so many people, and they'll come up to me and tell me a story where they met me when I was in the military. They met me back in the day and never met that guy. He probably doesn't know who I am. I wasn't a stand-up then, but I never met that guy that hit me with the beer bottle. So that's an instance. And then I'm trying to think. Oh, uh. Maybe, you know what? This next fight, too. Maybe I just got a hard head. Maybe that's what it is. Like, I can't fight, but I can take a punch. I, I've told this story on stage before. It's so funny. I was in Detroit, Michigan. I got a show. I go to this place called Lyceum. I think it was Lyceum afterwards, after my show. And that club was always jumping. And I go upstairs to the VIP area. And as soon as I walked upstairs... These three girls are like, Gary on, Gary on, we get a pick. I'm like, yeah, get a pick with these girls. And then I go to the bar and I got my buddy Reggie and his wife with me. So I'm facing the bar and I bought three drinks. And I never get to bartender, it was like $125. I said, God damn, how much are the drinks here? He goes, No, those girls said you were buying their drinks. Without even looking back at the girls, I looked at the bartender and I said, Oh, I ain't, I ain't buying no bitches drinks in here tonight. And all I heard was I turned around. Who you calling a bitch? And they just started. It, was, it just went from zero to 100 so fast because I guess they told the bartender I was buying their drinks. I don't know. It was so much chaos 
not chaos, but it was a club. It was loud. And I'm, I'm painting the picture like I walked in, took the picture, went straight to the bar, and nobody was there. It was packed. I, I was standing there for a few minutes trying to get the bartender's attention. So it was a little chaotic in there. And all of a sudden, I'm getting yelled at by all these girls. I don't know who they are. And I'm sitting there trying to explain myself. I said, no, nah, I ain't call you bitches personally. I said bitches like per se, like bitches, right? As I'm explaining to these girls that I didn't call them a bitch, I'm getting punched from over the girls. And I don't know where these punches are coming from. And it wasn't from one dude. I was getting tagged, right? So I remember I put my head down, and I was getting hit on the top of the head, right? And at some point, somebody must have caught me in the, the cheek too. But I remember I just went. <laughs> I remember I hit my buddy Reggie. It happened so fast. My buddy Reggie never turned around. He still faced the bar. He never saw me get hit. I just hit him. I go, let's go, man. This place is whack. So we leave Lyceum. Now I'm at his truck. We get in. I take down the – I'm looking in the rear view mirror. I'm looking at my lip. I'm looking to make sure I ain't dotted up because this was like Friday or Saturday night. Monday morning, I started working on House of Pain, the sitcom. And I said, man, I can't show up my first day of work dotted up with black eyes and shit. So I was more worried about me, my face, than I was worried about getting beat up or getting retribution or anything. I was just like, okay. All of a sudden, his wife came running, and she's, like, laughing and crying at the same time. I go, what's wrong? What's wrong? She goes, oh, my God. That was the scariest and funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. I said, what do you mean? She goes, you were getting hit and still talking at the same time. So you were like, you're like, I ain't called by a bitch. <laughs> so they said, you were straight trying to explain yourself and getting hit by these two or three dudes at the same time. And then you just... It happened so fast, you didn't fight back, and you just hit Reggie. Let's go, man. This place is whack. I said, the dudes were looking at you like, what's, what's going on? He's not he's not fighting back. He's not trying to do shit. <laughs> I was like, and we just walked out, and that was it. <laughs> and I, But I remember I was living in Cincinnati at the time, so I drove up to Detroit for this show. Driving back the next day, I stopped and got an orange juice, and I took a sip of that orange juice, and I didn't feel anything wrong with – with my head and face, but the adrenaline's going, you know, you don't feel nothing until you go to bed and you wake up the next day. And I was like, man, I'm kind of sore. And then, uh, I took a drink of that orange juice and the, somehow they must've caught my lip a little bit. Cause there was a small slit and that acid hit my lip. And I was like, you motherfucker. <laughs> now I want to go back and find them. 